Hopefully, by now, you've all watched and re-watched my Badger Divide series. If you haven't, I'll stick a link down in the description and up in the card. It was an amazing ride, probably one of my favourites. And it was one of the first rides I've done where I've really tried to think about packing weight and what I took with me. Um, so I took all freeze-dried food to try and keep the weight down there and I took very minimal clothing. I only took one set of riding gear and then dry socks, long johns, merino base layer type thing and a hoodie to wear at camp. And I think on that ride, I made all good decisions. I regret nothing, I'll do it the same again. Except that I missed not having a second pair of shoes. I only took my 510 Freeriders, which are great, really comfy off the bike, really good for pedaling. But in this instance, they got wet quite early on and they never really dried out. So I'd find myself in my tent wearing my nice dry socks and you need to get up for a pee or whatever and it's raining outside or the ground is wet and my shoes are wet and my socks are dry and my shoes are wet and my socks are dry, what do I do? Do I go outside in bare feet, come back in and clean off, put bare feet in wet shoes? It's just a bit of a hassle and I wished I'd had some dry camp shoes. But once you've started thinking about packing weight, you start to balk a little bit at the idea of taking a second pair of shoes with you that you're only gonna wear for possibly minutes every day. So when I got back, I had a look around for lightweight camp shoe options. I found two that I liked the look of, couldn't decide which to get, so I thought I'd be decadent and get them both. I've worn each of them now over the last two, three months since I got back from the Badger. And so this video is just a quick rundown of my collected thoughts on the Zero Shoes Z Trail sandals and the Skinner's sock shoe thing. Let's start with the Z Trail, the Zero Shoes Z Trail, because this is probably what most people have in their heads when they think about minimalist footwear. It's definitely what I had in my head when I started looking for it. Um, it's a single piece of tubular webbing across the top of your foot. It's got a Velcro strap at the back for getting in and out. It's a classic sandal. There's not much to blow your mind in terms of design. And it's really comfy. I've worn this on the beach, in the woods. I've worn it around town on tarmac. You'd have no worries jumping on jagged rocks, running across gravel all that kind of stuff. Um, and it ticks all the boxes that I wanted these shoes to tick, you know? They're very light, a pair of these is 320 grams. They're very packable, you can roll them up, you could cinch that with a bole strap or whatever, stick it in the bottom of a bag, or you could just hang it on your pack or on your panniers or whatever. Doesn't matter if it gets wet, because it's basically non-absorbent. The webbing, would hold a little bit of moisture, but nothing that's gonna be a problem. So on the whole, they're really comfy. I'm really pleased with them. There are just a couple of points to make, and these aren't negatives with the Z Trail. These are negatives with me and with sandals in general. The first one being that my bones are rubbish. I've got weak ankles, weak knees, weak hips, and these are very thin by design. You know, they're supposed to keep you in contact with the terrain that you're on. But they're in a funny halfway house in terms of the amount of padding and cushioning in that they're just enough that my brain forgets that they're not standard shoes and I walk as if I was wearing standard shoes, which means I heel strike with every step. And if I go out for a walk in these on tarmac for you know an hour or more, I do start to notice it in the old legs. That's not a problem with these, it's a problem with my rickety bones, but it's worth considering if you also have rickety bones and you're thinking of getting footwear like this. Now the other point is that being sandals, these suffer from that perennial sandal issue of 
things getting in between the sole and the bottom of your foot and being very hard to get out again. So you end up doing that strange duck walk, kicky waddle dance, trying to flick bits of gravel out whilst on the move without having to stop. But that is that, really. Those are the only small downsides I've found and neither of those points are enough to make me not want to take these on a trip as my camp shoes. They're light, they're packable, doesn't matter if they get wet, they're really comfy. Yeah, they're great. But I have to say, if given the choice, instead of these, surprisingly, I would reach for my Skinners, I think. So I will admit, the first time I saw Skinners, I really liked the idea, but they also triggered my gimmick alarm quite heavily. In the end, I just thought, they're not that expensive. I'm going to have a punt. And due to what I would say was some pretty misleading labeling by a third party Amazon seller, I ended up getting the version ones by mistake. But then I liked them so much that I thought I'd better get a set of the version twos as well. Um, the only difference is that these version twos have a slightly wider toe box area and they come with these um, removable insoles that just give a little bit extra padding and protection. Those are the only differences. So for now, I'm just gonna to refer to the version twos throughout the rest of this. Um, they tick all the boxes I wanted ticked. They are very light. The version ones are 215 grams for the pair. Version twos, 212 grams for the pair. 238 with the insoles. So all configurations are lighter than the, the Z trails. Um, they're very packable. Again, they take up the same space as like a big pair of socks. So you can just stuff them down into the bottom of a bag or whatever. They are very comfortable. With the inserts in, I have no worries going and poking around in the woods, running across gravel. I've been in underneath the holly trees here to really test them. I've walked around town where there's broken glass and what have you. They're, they're very protective. But that said, they are much thinner than the Z Trails. These feel like you're wearing a set of thick socks rather than a shoe or a sandal. Because of that, I walk in these as I would in bare feet. In fact, you can see on the version ones that all the wear pattern is on the ball rather than the heel. And that means they don't give me so much jip in the old legs. They're much better for the joints. Um, again, I probably wouldn't want to hike for miles and miles in them, although I've heard people do. Um, I wouldn't want to hike for miles and miles personally, but, um, yeah, for, for camp shoe type things, they're brilliant. A uh, couple of points to make about just the sock design. First off, you don't get anything in there. You don't get any pebbles and twigs and stuff going in. They're very snug. So no detritus gets in and you never get that thing that you sometimes get with sandals of catching the toe when you're walking. So that's nice. You know, they fit very snugly. They're much more like socks. Um, because they're like socks, and this may be a plus or a minus point, they're quite warm. So we've just had a heat wave in the UK and I was out walking around in these then and you do get sweaty feet if you're out in, in the summer with them. They're not as hot as a standard shoe, but they're much hotter than a sandal. Um, the other issue with the sock design is that the fabric is quite thick if they get wet, they do hold their wetness for a certain amount of time. So if, if these are my camp shoes, I'm keeping these in, in with my dry gear. But that's, um, that's not an issue at all. And as I said at the front, I really like these. They came with me on my recent Route 47 ride with Alan and they will come with me on other bike packing trips in the future. Um, the, the weight, the, the tiny pack size, the comfort, that kind of real barefoot feel, but having protection from rough terrain. Yeah, I'm sold, I love them. The only thing that 
you know, that does sort of disappoint me is, is the holding the wetness thing. And as soon as Skinner's come through uh, and ask about a sponsorship deal, and I get to do a signature Jethro Jessup Skinner's model, I would definitely want to investigate the possibility of having a much more open weave on the top or thinner fabric. So you, A, have cooler feet, and um, B, you shed that dampness more quickly. But yeah, not a massive problem at all. These Skinners 2.0 have been officially announced. My camp shoe of choice. And that's that. I mean, it's not a proper gear review because I'm not a proper gear reviewer. I just thought I hadn't done a gear-based video for a little while, so, psh, you know, spice things up a bit, keep the channel crazy. Um, yeah, I don't know what the next videos are gonna be. Um, I recently bought a new firebox stove, a five inch one, and I've had some semi-decent luck with cooking bread in a billy can in the woods. So I might do some camp cooking videos. I might do some more poetry of the saddle, although they tend to result in a net loss of subscribers. Um, but what the hell? Um, I've got no big rides coming up, although a few weekenders in the in the mullings we shall see. But nothing nothing major planned for certain. Um, if you would like to see me do more big rides in the future, review more and exciting gear, then like, subscribe, leave a comment, do whatever you can to support the channel. It's all massively appreciated. If you are feeling ultra super supportive, you can head over to the Kofi page. Link in the description. Uh, all these fine people here, they are already supporting me on a monthly basis for actual real money alongside a whole slew of other just as fine folk who donate one off just to buy me a coffee here and there. Your support is beyond words how appreciative I am. I honestly, I don't really know what to say. It's a little bit embarrassing. It's a little bit humbling. It's just, yeah, the fact that people value this channel at all <sighs> brings a little flutter to my heart. Um, so thank you very much. I am just talking now. I've said everything I was going to say about shoes and I've asked you to voluntarily give me your money. So I'll probably sign off there until I see you on the next one. Bye now.